Hi friends, this is Reverend Ruth, and it is time for Bedtime Stories. I hope you had a great Christmas, and I am visiting with my great nieces, um, Gabby and Sydney. We've been playing games, we've had lunch, and now Gabby is going to be our guest reader for our Bedtime Stories. So, um, uh, I'm going to have her uh, read a story to us, and there she is. We can see her on the camera. And say hi, Gabby. Hi. <laughs> and you can read anytime you're ready. The title is Black the Hat Ice Cream for Ice Cream. I can see the book sign just the way you have it. Black the Hat Beans in the back of the bus. His class was on a field trip. To the ice cream factory, ice cream factory. I could eat four ice cream cones a day, said Tom. I could eat fifteen, said Tom. And I could eat all yours and a million more, said Spice. She licked her lips. Ice cream. You think we all scream for ice cream, the friends cried. At the ice cream factory, ice cream swirled in big back pipe strings. Noble screamed. Well, said that. What a dream. The factory manager greeted them. I'm Mr. Jelly Bean, he said. Who wants a tour? Hooray! Sang the cat. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> Shall we go to the next page? Okay. Mr. Jellybean led the cat to the to a back room. The cat stayed still. There was a chalkboard chair desk, but no ice cream to be seen. Mr. Jellybean cleared his throat. First, let's talk. Freezers, he said. Some are big, some are small. All are extremely cool. What? I just had Mr. Jellybean talked on and on. He seemed to love his freezer thing, but the cat did not. Their eyes glazed over their heads. You got. Black began to daydream that he was making ice cream. He closed his eyes and learned, leaned against the big red button. Alarm. Alarm flared. Flared like steam, flat jumps, and screams. Look at my little gun. Steam puff, steam puff out of a big pipe, then flat ice cream springs out. Oh! You know what flat would like? What? Just to jump in there and drink it. Oh, right? I thought this one here. Right. It became a huge ice cream wedge. That grew and grew and flooded the factory. Oh, man. Oh, my God, That mouse is going crazy, right? Yeah. Yes, he was going in a bucket because... 
cream for the ice cream. Right? Yeah, can't use that to see Right, right. Yeah, it's okay. I don't think so. Now that a long time of ice cream said can talking a taste yum. What happened, Mr. Wimple, Wim, Wimpeele, Wimpeele, mm -hmm. Mrs. Wim, Wimpeele, Wimpeele, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, said Scott, from under the chocolate chips. Oh, man, could you imagine we bought buried in chocolate chips? Oh, I just eat it now. Right? Okay. Yeah. The class, please, and so, oh, Miss, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple counted heads. Everyone was there except, hey now, Gina, Gina, what, scream. I have to find Gina, he said. He ran back. Go ahead. He ran back townward towards the door. Toward the door. Wait, Kim cried. We all come with you. We're a team after all. It's good to be part of a team, huh? Yeah. See here? Yeah. Okay. No, wait. Yep. Yeah. Wait, wait. Inside the team set out the ice cream net. Let's look, they said. Be careful, Scott said. Seymour. Seymour? Seymour is so small. We may not see him under all this ice cream. I guess he's the one in the ice cream. Oh, he could be. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what comes next. Okay, he's really small. Right? So mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens to Seymour. With brushes and buckets, the cat cleaned and ate their way into the factory. Seymour's black holes, but Seymour was... Yeah, Nowhere to be seen. Uh oh. Let's find out what happens to Seymour. Then the team cleaned and ate their way through the next room. Seymour's black called again. The team continued until the factory cleaned, but it seemed Seema wasn't anywhere under all that ice cream. Just then, a blob of whipped cream fell onto Flat's head. Flat looked up. Flat! <laughs> Where was Seema? He had... He was way up on the beam. He couldn't call out. His mouth was full of ice cream. Oh no! He got into the ice cream. <laughs> Seema leaped into Spark Pie. Then Mr. Jordan thanked the team. The factory is so clean. How can you leave? Okay. You pay you. How can I repay you? I would like. Some ice cream, said Tina. The cat all brown yawned. No more ice cream, they said. For now, whispered Tina. Well, and good job. Well. I don't know about you, but I was pretty excited to find out that they found Seymour. And isn't it good to have friends to help us when we are in trouble? And so, friends, I hope that you, um, first of all, if you like ice cream, 
uh, tell me down in the comments what your favorite ice cream flavor is. And um, I will love to hear that. And we're going to have a quick prayer. And then um, we're going to keep playing here. So um, fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for ice cream. And the best day ever. Amen. Thank you, friends. See you next week.